The Toyota Mirai is comfortable, quiet and very cheap to run. It has a long list of standard equipment, too, and the electric motor's instant to work means it has plenty of punch for overtaking. It's still very hard to recommend buying one, though, as there are so few filling stations that only buyers with specific circumstances will be able to run one. Even then, however, they'll be paying for the privilege. We simply can't recommend one yet, but we applaud Toyota for bringing the future to the market in 2016. The Toyota Mirai is one of the first hydrogen fuel cell cars to go on sale in the UK. The name means future in Japanese, and it's part of the car maker's plan to forge ahead with making alternative fuels available as soon as possible. In this case it's hydrogen, which has the huge benefit of being made available in pressurized form at a fuel station just like petrol or diesel. That means that even though the Mirai is powered by an electric motor, you top it up in a few minutes like a normal car, and it has a similar range, too, of around 300 miles. The fuel cell itself generates electricity by mixing hydrogen with oxygen, storing it in a battery and powering the motor just like any other Toyota hybrid. That means the only emission from the tailpipe is pure water. It periodically purges H2O from the system, and there's even a button on the dash to get rid of it when you choose. To make sure it doesn't drop out just as you pull into the garage at home. The Mirai is a four-seater saloon that sizes up with the likes of VW's Passat or the Ford Mondeo. That means the engineers had to work harder to get the complex components to fit, rather than adding them to an SUV, like the Hyundai 935 FCV, where there's more space to work with. The electric motor provides 152 bhp and 335 newton meters of torque, but the bulky batteries, fuel cell and motor mean it weighs around 1,850 kilograms. That translates to a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 9.6 seconds and a top speed of 111 miles per hour. But don't be fooled by the figures, the Mirai's instant to work off the line means it feels more than fast enough. The weight is a problem in corners, however, where the Mirai feels rather hefty. It isn't bad to drive, but the hydrogen Toyota is better suited to town and motorway journeys than it is a twisting country road. Ride quality is very good, and potholes and only the worst speed bumps manage to upset the car. There's little wind and road noise and only the faintest of noises from the fuel cell, which makes the cabin very hushed. The seats are comfortable too, and all four occupants get the same treatment. All the seats are heated, and as there's no middle seat in the back the rear passengers will be able to get comfortable easily. Practicality isn't bad, though the 361-liter boot is some way off the Passat's 586-liter load bay. Up front, the steering wheel, dashboard and center console unit all feel well built, but the touch interface and small buttons are fiddly to use on the move. We'd prefer a more logical interface, but in all honesty it's a very small niggle. That said, the biggest problem comes when you consider the Mirai's rivals. Just about every car of around the same size is much cheaper to buy than the Toyota, which has a list price of £66,000. That's more than double what you'll pay for rival cars. Which makes any savings on running costs almost negligible. If your buying decision is all about the bottom line then it's impossible to recommend such an expensive car, although a proposed government grant could reduce that price by £1,000.